Hello everyone, welcome to another Kyle Living in Korea tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go over Watson's Drugstore. Watson's is like a CVS or a Walgreens in the States. Um, they carry a lot of the stuff you're, that you would find in those kinds of stores like shaving cream, deodorant, toiletries, uh, snacks, everything like that. Um, here they actually, it seems like they're pretty exclusive on Nivea for the deodorant brand. They do have a, some stores have different uh, brand choices, but this one actually just happened to carry tons of Nivea deodorant, which is fine because at least you know some place, there is some place in Korea that you can buy deodorant, like normal deodorant like you're used to back home. And this is like a men's stick. Not a lot of men's choices for a deodorant, but at least they do have it. They have a tester. I don't know why you're testing deodorant, but they do have that. Here's a spray-on version. These are the men's brands here. Um, it's a little bit more expensive in Korea. Uh, I think it goes around I mean, seven to nine thousand won for a stick, which is about seven to nine dollars. Here's a woman's tester version. I guess I don't know who's testing this, um, but it is a little bit more expensive. This is a roller one, uh, which I haven't seen in a while, but at least they do have that option. Um, I think this one goes for about eight thousand won. Uh, and it's not on sale yet. That one is just a regular 8,000 won. But when I went to this day to Watson's, a lot of this stuff was on sale. So you can see the sale price. So just know that's always going to be a little bit cheaper. Because it's actually a little higher than what we're used to back home. Uh, yes, yeah, 5,000 won here, 7,000 won. Uh, it's on sale. That's for the spray too. So sprays are typically a little bit more expensive. Uh, but they do have that option, which is great. At least they give you the choice. Those, these are actually Japanese, uh, Japanese deodorants, which I'll get into here in a minute. Um, you can see in the bottom they have the Veet razors too. Um, here are the prices again. You can take a look and get an idea what you'll be paying for deodorant. I recommend you know, when they have one plus ones like they often do to stock up. Here's the women's razors and shaving cream kits, which is great because this is super hard to find in Korea. So for women, that, if you need to know that, check out Watson's or Boone's Apothecary. Um, there's a Gillette Satin Care, which is really popular back home. And around 10,000 won, which is pretty normal for the states. Uh, I think men actually get a little, uh, have to pay a little bit more for their razors. I think they mark them up here a lot more than they do the women's. Uh, they do have the disposable and the ones that they can just change out the heads when you have to pay for the more expensive actual razor. Like you see here, they have the Shix and Hydro 5s and the 20,000 razors, razor head ones. But you can see here, um, they are a little bit more expensive though. But you can go with the disposable. Like you see, they have the Gillette Blue too, uh, which is what I use. You know, I don't really see a difference too much. Um, here are the these these shaving cream cans are exactly the ones I'm used to from the states. Um, I think they, they are a little bit more expensive, around seven thousand won. I think it is. Yeah, around seven thousand won, which is I used, I think I used to pay three dollars for that. Um, so it's a little bit marked up. These are the Japanese deodorants, which are actually the majority of it is alcohol based with a little bit of perfume here on the bottom. You can see it, the perfume scent on the bottom swirling around. It is nice though, it's like a refresher during the day. I use it a lot in the summer. Um, because it is alcohol based so it makes your skin feel cooler and it's just a little bit of a re refreshing scent. Um, I think some of them come with a free watch, it had a free watch on it. So that's a good choice too if you want to experiment just to see, you know, just, you know, do a little bit of exploring in a foreign country, you can try out some Japanese deodorant. Uh, it's about 8,000 won so it's a little pricey but I, just, I did it just to give it a try because it was something new. Um, as you can see they have a tons of perfumey spray stuff here. But uh, don't be afraid to try it uh, or send some back home or something like that. Just a kind of a neat thing. Um, I can see they have the same contact solution as they do back home. Halls, mints. Here's some of the snacks that we're used to back, back where we come from. So, um, but they also have the Korean snacks too. But uh, I do recommend coming here if you're uh, a little homesick or missing some of the snacks you're used to. They have pretzels like the Schneider's pretzels. Pringles, uh, a lot of the same chocolate and candy that they have, we have back home. Something I like to do sometimes too is to come to a Watson's before I go to a movie. Because in Korea, you can bring your own snacks in a movie. You don't have to pay the marked up prices at the theaters. So sometimes me and my wife will come here and grab Pringles or something to bring into the theater. But as you can see, they have tons of the same stuff we're used to back home, like ice breakers and uh, what do you call it? Rice Krispies treats, uh, Toblerones, Hershey bars. Uh, there's tons of stuff here. It's definitely worth checking out. They're everywhere in Seoul. Uh, this one's actually this is the Wee Jong Boo one. It's near my home. But uh, yeah, definitely don't be afraid to go out there. Bo uh, Boons is really popular in Seoul too. You'll find that. There's a couple other brands that that carry the same stuff. Some major uh, companies. So don't be afraid to go out there and look. If you have any questions, go to my blog at kylelivingincorea.com. Leave a question. I'd be happy to answer it for you. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.